like 1240 something. I just got up for the first time today. I woke up a while ago. I woke up at like 10. I haven't done anything. I've literally been laying in my bed all day. Um, I'm just so unmotivated and sad today. <laughs> Um, I have a lot of schoolwork to do because all my schoolwork is due tomorrow and I don't want to end up doing it all tomorrow. <laughs> so, I do have a lot of schoolwork that I want to get done today, but I think today I'm just going to try to take it easy. Um, it's really warm outside today. It's like 70 something right now. So, I think I'm going to go for a walk. So, I'm going to go like brush my teeth, wash my face, put on some new clothes. All the fun stuff. So, yeah. I just wash my face and brush my teeth and all that fun stuff, um, which automatically makes me feel a lot better. I don't know what it is about washing my face, but washing my face makes me feel like a completely different person. Um, <laughs> like I just feel so much better after I wash my face. Um, but I'm currently waiting for my moisturizer to like set. My moisturizer, it kind of like takes a minute to like set into my skin, if that makes sense. I think I'm gonna do some meditation. I know that makes me sound like such like a hippie or whatever, but I find that meditation has really been helping a lot lately because it's more of a like, it's time to myself where I don't have to actively think because recently I feel like I've had too much time with my thoughts, <laughs> which is obviously good, but I think it's been a little too much, so. <laughs> So I decided that I'm going to go outside and I'm going to do my schoolwork out there. So I pack this bag full of all the things that I'm going to need. So I have like my computer, my textbook, bullet journal, some pens and pencils, and then I have some headphones in there. So I haven't done much since I was outside. Oof, I'm currently laying on my bed. I was looking through Pinterest and Instagram for inspiration on what to do with this wall. I wanted to have like a little like get real moment for a second. Um, first of all, I wanted to thank everyone for all the kind messages on my video that I uploaded last week, which was my mental health video. Um, I also got a lot of messages on my Instagram and stuff about people asking me if I'm okay, and I am. Um, thank you for asking, and I'm glad that people took it well. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I quarantine has just been really hard on me. I feel like there have been good days and bad days today was one of those bad days i was actually planning on filming like a productive day in my life video but it just ended up not being productive and at first i wasn't going to film anything but then i was like you know what i'll film it anyways and i was like you know i'll probably film tomorrow too um hopefully tomorrow's gonna be a better day i'm feeling better already today which is really good but i think like it's not it's good to show that I guess the imperfections, I feel like you don't see a lot of imperfections on YouTube because, you know, you edit them out. <laughs> like, I edit out a lot of things in my videos. If I make a mistake, I'll refilm it and then I'll edit the part that I made the mistake of out. And I feel like you don't really get to see those imperfections on YouTube. And I saw a study call video and she taught, it was, her most recent video was like a productive day and a self-care day and she talked about how like 
you know, some days are just really hard and that she doesn't really show that on YouTube because, you know, YouTube's like a place of perfection. Social media is a place of perfection. Like you film all these productive day in the life, things like that, but those are just the productive days. And that really resonated with me and I feel like, I think it's so easy to think that like people who have such big platforms and people who have big followings don't have the same problems as, you know, other people because of this persona that they pursue. But like, it's hard to really get to know someone over the internet because like I said, like everything that is uploaded is the perfect version of that. I feel like it's harder to really understand what's going on in someone's life. And I feel like right now, a lot of people are having trouble and you know so i just wanted to share that i mean like if you are having trouble right now trust me you're not alone you're not the only one um and we're all gonna get through this together which is so cheesy i'm just like sad today <laughs> it just happens like you know everybody just has to have a sad day sometimes and i feel like i've had a lot of sad days this year um i feel like i've had a lot of sad days and you know I just have to look forward to those good days to come. I don't- I try not to invalidate my problems, which is a huge problem I have. <laughs> um, because I'll be like, oh, you know, I have problems, but they're not as big as someone else's problems, therefore I shouldn't express it, or I shouldn't, like, talk about it all, but on a brighter subject. Here's my super cute, super annoyed with me kitty. She's annoyed with me because I just woke her up from her nap. And she wants to go back to sleep, but I said, no. I said, you have to be cute and bring people joy. <laughs> she wants out. Okay, she is on my desk. Hi, so I'm a dumbass. Um, <laughs> I forgot to hit submit on my edition. So now I'm taking this as an opportunity to rewrite my essay. And I feel like... So basically you have to write like an essay, which are just which is just basically all the questions they were going to ask me at the audition anyway. I feel like I'm trying to sound like professional-ish, but I'm also like trying not to make it sound so much that I'm bragging about myself because I hate doing that. I'm like writing things and I feel like it just sounds like I'm being like, <laughs> look at me. But I know that that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Obviously, I don't want to make it like too braggy, like, oh my god, I'm the best, but I'm like supposed to be bragging about myself. Like, I'm supposed to be like, yeah, I am this, I'm this, like, this is why I would be a great section leader. But I'm just like, it's giving me so much anxiety writing this, this is why I rewrote it. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just anxious. I'm really anxious. <laughs> because it's just something I really want, and usually things that I really want don't really work out for me that well. So, hello everyone. As you can see, I put on a face mask. It's currently 7.46. Um, and I think I'm just going to do some journaling while I wait for my face to dry. Um, and then I'm going to feed my cats and get in the shower. So I've not journaled in a long time. Um, there's only a few entries in here. My therapist told me to start journaling over this, whatever we're calling this now, and so I did, but then I stopped because I kept forgetting to, so I'm going to do that today. kind of sad but my mask is now dry so I'm gonna get in the shower outro of this video so editing me is going to take this over with my little hearts <laughs> so originally this video was going to extend into friday but then friday also ended up being pretty unproductive and i didn't get a lot of clips so 
it's just thursday i hope you enjoyed this unproductive day in the life of me i'm doing a lot better now so that's pretty good it's currently sunday um and i'm doing pretty good so i'm hoping that tomorrow will be pretty good as well um <laughs> i keep doing this but i hope you enjoyed this chaotic video um <laughs> I hope you all are staying safe, you know, practicing social distancing. I know some places are starting to, like, loosen up on their stay-at-home orders, and if you are in one of those places, please do try to still maintain social distancing and practice all the safety measures and things like that, and still, like, try to stay home as much as you can, because I don't want you to get hit with a second wave. Also, that's... I don't want that to happen to me either, so if you're watching this, you know, try to still stay safe, wash your hands, practice social distancing, but most importantly, have a great day, and don't forget to smile. Bye-bye!